What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Palantir stock and its earnings and the options data. So we'll take a look at everything what happened in the market today with the earnings of Palantir and how things are looking like in the sentiment that just the options that I was checking something and um, how yeah how the things are looking like in the options data sentiment and technically how shall we be now trading because today's earnings have happened and it sets and gives us a new technical so with that we'll, well we'll talk about all of this in this video let's identify you know what price structure and action is telling us and what potential moves for the rest of this week may come on palantir so guys with that please hit the like and subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes okay so the first thing I want to do is show you the price action on the um, you know after post market in after earnings. We'll go over the earnings number in just a second, but just want to you know um, set the picture for you guys what's in the post market. You are seeing a spike and a sell off. And prior to that, before going into the earnings, the price was already quite high up, right? It went up, right? And it was already in the bullish structure as I talked about over the weekend as well. That technically Palantir is in the bullish structure. But what I'm going to do first thing is just draw this candle because on daily interval trading view doesn't show up the on the daily candle, the post or pre-market data. Uh, so I'm just going to mark because it just it shows the data but doesn't show it in the daily candle. Okay, so I'm just going to mark it here just so that you can see what type of candle you are dealing with. So guys, this is the candle that right now you are looking at on Palantir. So just imagine this as tomorrow, this is the candle that's gonna show up like this and it, it's supposed to be opened at $23.28 somewhere over here. So let me mark it uh, right around this this is where the price is the red line okay let's get rid of this candle it looks ugly <laughs> okay so this is where the price is um, where the red line is now what I talked about over the weekend and potential use cases as if if it gaps up it has a room to go higher if it gaps down it may not likely fully become bearish we'll talk about that in just a second but does it mean Palantir is still bullish in the structure even after that massive gap down? We'll talk about that in just a second once I take you over the earnings here. They beat across the board, guys, okay, as per the estimates, okay? They came out great, and if I compare it to the last quarter, uh, they reported was 608 million, and this time they did 634 million, and the EPS was 0. Point, sorry, yeah, 0. 0.08, and then they reported yeah the same 0 0.08 but price still fell what did they uh, guide it for a lower numbers well um let's take a look at this then so palantir shares fell monday even as it reported stronger than expected first quarter revenue in the commercial business propelled by a boom in artificial intelligence the shares still slipped some analysts and shareholders have been worried about slowing momentum at Palantir as revenue growth from U.S. government's contracts has shown sign of cooling and some European governments have been reluctant to do business with Palantir. Well, they'll find anything to fit in the price action, okay? Uh, they'll just say, oh yeah, because of this, because cherry picking things, right? But anyways, let's, let's, because what I'm trying to figure out here with you guys, did they guide it lower? Because if earnings were great, but price is falling, they even beat from the previous quarter, why so, right? Um, William Blair analyst uh, Louis de Palma said in a report the stock likely fell because U.S. commercial revenue growth sharply deaccelerated to 40% from 70% in the prior quarter. U.S. government revenue growth trailed far behind the company's commercial growth, Palantir said Monday, but the private sector thirst for AI products helped Palantir broadly beat analysts' expectations. So they're just trying to tell you a reason why price is falling because of this. But guys, this doesn't matter what look earnings numbers whatever that's why i said there's no point in carrying positions through the earnings because no matter what the numbers comes no matter what the guidance comes because guidance is still good i'll t tell you that um but the price still fell right so it all <laughs> you, you just don't know okay that's why it's better to trade the technicals before earnings as a different trades 
and after earnings is a different trades because the technical shifts okay and you know palantir profits rose all that great stuff overall sale rose all that great stuff palantir's 29 million revenue was above the wall street estimates great stuff the company posted in government revenue an increase of 16 percent from year earlier great stuff the company raised its guidance for full year revenue okay so am i saying anything negative in all this stuff no so what it comes down to is just you know don't get too much confused we had technicals before earnings now we have new technicals in hand after earnings let's get to the price section okay now this is where the price is almost in the post market 23 dollars and 27 cents that just let's take this red line here as an uh, you know base here now guys the thing is that on daily interval technically palantir is still holding this pivot of 22 dollars and 92 cents so technically it's still in a uptrend this is still just a pullback guys the structure break on this would happen if we lose this level tomorrow 22 dollars and 94 cents if we lose and break below it it's not going to get fully bearish guys the swing bearish because we have 20 days moving average coming from bottom the thing is that the structure on palantir is looking strong to me even right now because $22.92 is a structural support right now. If we lose that, break that, then we have to be cautioning the things. And it's very simple technical, sir. It's not complicated. Let's go to the hourly interval. We are holding another pivot here. That is the level of, well, that's where we held actually. You can see we got a wick there, right? We got up here as well. we are going up now. So you can see we are still holding the structure, guys. This is, we are still holding the structure okay we are getting bought back up so you get my point right pivot is holding above the support so tomorrow again well guys technically as i say palantir still has room to go up i'm not seeing a structure break in a way that we are heading lower but again uh what you are seeing is that if rebound comes and if it rejects at 24 dollars and six cents you might see some downside or choppiness but in the price session it's not telling me that it's gonna plummet tomorrow yeah it's more likely they're gonna stay choppy or gonna rebound back to the upside just my opinion very simple technical so i like to see the next day as well how the candle has done the day after earnings but this is my sentiment right now very simple not gonna make it complicated that's your that's that's what on palantir let's take a look at options data so the bright green is the today's options open interest the bright red are the puts today's open interest and then uh, the dark red is the over the weekend data that i collected and the dark green is the over the weekend data i collected this is closing price has remained the same nothing changed so that's the line now i'm seeing good density and calls increased today on the 25 dollars technically price did go up in the post market it even went up before post market. You can see today it was trending higher, right? Right over here. So technically, all those calls would have made money. N now, the point being, is these $25 calls again going to make money here from here on? That I would say is quite far-fetched. Okay, yeah, I'm saying that to me it looks bullish and rebound may come tomorrow. But is this rebound going to be strong enough this week's calls expirations that we will get back to the $25? That's a little bit less likely all the way above going $25 in my opinion. But as I say, I like to see the next day candle. But everything has come out great on Palantir. And also the technicals are still bullish as I said. So not 25. I won't stay with 25. But yes, things can still go up. But anyways, the options data is showing me that there are still bulls sitting calls have been increasing on 27 dollars 26 dollars as well there are some puts as well higher 22 and 20 dollars but the density is still much more higher on the calls side in my opinion um that's the sentiment on the street as for the traders where they are putting their money okay but technicals and options are different things options is just the sentiment it doesn't tell you the structure of the price um neither neither the price action i mean options doesn't tell you the options neither tell you the price action nor they tell you the structure okay charts is what we do the price action and the structure look at it price is going up now in the post market so well guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe and with that i'll see my next videos guys take care bye